Look, look at that. It's snowing out and it's gonna stay. It's gonna get a lot colder, a lot more snow. It's official. Winter's here. Today on In The Wood Yard, we got wood. We got an empty trailer. People want wood. I'm taking it to them. Here we go. So my original plan for today was to move stuff to the new wood yard. I was gonna take pallets. I was gonna take a couple loads of wood, get it all thrown into a big pile on the pallets. Well, people called. Because it's snowing, they're like, oh my God, we're gonna die. We need firewood. It's cold. We're gonna die. Oh my God, we need firewood. We're gonna die. <laughs> people are panicking, which is good. I mean, I want people to call. I want people to order wood. I want to deliver wood. So this first order is for two face cords or two thirds of a cord of mixed hardwood is what this is. So we're gonna throw that into the trailer and go deliver that. This one's a road trip. The guy is 30 miles away and he said he heard that I had really good wood and he wants it. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put in a bunch of stuff and we're gonna take it to him. And then the order after that, I think is also for mixed hardwood. And then maybe I'll get some stuff moved. We'll see if I got time at the end of the day. It's already noon. I had a bunch, I had a bunch of work I had to get done today. So we're gonna get flying on the wood right now. is in the trailer. Now, yesterday I mentioned I had a guy that called me or texted me saying he couldn't get his wood to burn. And this wood is all stuff that was processed back in May, March and May, somewhere in there. This is some of the older stuff that I have now. So it is six months old now, more than six months actually, since I processed this. So I just took my X27, Fiskars, X, splitting mole, splitting X, and I popped apart a couple pieces. And I'm gonna pop apart a couple more, and I'm gonna moisture test them because uh, this guy that I messaged yesterday back and forth said he can't get the wood to burn. This is from the same pile that I, his wood came from. So we're gonna find out right now what the moisture content is. Here we go. Okay, so I already popped apart a couple pieces here. I'm gonna pop apart one more big one here, bigger one, maybe two more. This one's quite a bit bigger. I'll pop this one apart too and see what she says on the inside. I'm trying not to do, get it wet because that'll obviously skew the test results. All right, let's see what she says. Here's one I split apart before. It's fresh split on the inside. 17%. So that was one of the big ones on the bottom. And there's a lot of stuff a lot smaller than that. Here's another one that I picked out from the bottom. I split in half. It's got a bunch of snow on it already here, but oh, that one's 19%. Now it's going between 18 and 19. Okay, now the one that I just split, the big one here. We'll give this puppy a try and see what she says. And get a hold of it here. Oh, 19%. 18, 19%. And these are some of the bigger ones. So small ones I know are fine. Now, if you just take a random piece, let's take one from like in here. I'll take a smaller one and I'll test it without splitting it. And we'll see what we get. Well, it goes from 19 to 16 back and forth. Try it, try it over here, 17%. So there you go. It's good wood, it's ready to burn. So I don't know what the guy's problem is. I don't know, we'll find out, but I'm gonna go there later today, hopefully, and figure out his problem or his dilemma. So I'm gonna go grab a bundle of kindling for this guy, and we're gonna go down the road and deliver it right now.
I am back from my delivery that I just did, a road trip. And my next delivery I thought was for two face cords, but it's actually for one face cord or a third of a cord. And it's for ash, which is right here. And this is the pile that I never stacked, which is awesome because I did a moisture test on it and it's all in the teens and I never had to stack it. I just cut it and split it right into a pile. And I'm gonna put that in, put a load into the truck and go deliver that. Still snowing out, it's supposed to continue snowing the rest of the day. It's right around 32, 33 degrees. So it's this uh, packy snowball, you know, the stuff that the, the kids, little kids at school just go nuts over the first snowfall like this because they can make snowmen and snowballs and get in trouble throwing snow into each other's face from the teacher. We're loading this right now. Well, there it is, loaded. That took, what, seven minutes. I took my time, I wasn't going fast at all, but I'm right to the pile here. I get asked all the time, how long does it take you to put a load on? How long does it take to do a full cord? Basically six, seven minutes if you take your time. If you go as fast as you can, I, can, I might be able to do it in under six minutes to put a load on, to put a face cord or a third of a cord in. If I'm doing a full cord, it's usually around 20 minutes, you know, not going too fast. Somewhere right around there is about what it takes. And if I completely fill my trailer, it takes about a half hour, about 30 minutes. And that's pretty much normal speed. If I go as fast as I can, I might be able to break 30 minutes, but that's what it takes. So 30 minutes for a full trailer load full, which is four face cords or a full cord and a third. Now, another question that comes up all the time, and I'm, I've answered this probably a hundred times, for those of you that have watched your channel for a long time, you're gonna think, not again. But if you haven't been watching for a long time, this is a question that comes up a lot. I had two people yesterday just ask me in the comments, have I ever broke the back window of my truck? I can tell you exactly how many times I've broken my window in the back of my truck because I remember I've been throwing wood into trucks now for 53 years. I'm 60 years old. I started when I was seven helping my dad. And my dad always told us, if you break a window, you're paying for it. So I've been very careful not to break a window. So I've been loading my dad's trucks, my brother's trucks, my trucks. Both my brothers have been loading wood into their trucks because they both burn firewood, sell firewood. My dad has always burned firewood. So that's four of us over 50 some years of loading wood into the truck. So that's 200 years of loading wood into trucks. We've never broke a window. So there you go. Never bought a, never bought a protector rack, nothing. I put some plywood back there a couple times just to make people happy in the comments, but I've never had a problem. I don't throw the wood so hard. I try to aim for the back. When I get close to the front here, I try to place it a little better. You know, if you take your time and you're careful, you're gonna be okay. But if you throw without looking, just as wild as you can, you might break a window. And if you read about a bounce, where it hits and it hits the, hits the truck, if you throw with a back spin so that it falls and spins back, you're not gonna have a problem. So give it a backflip, backspin, and you'll be okay. We're going to deliver this load right now. I did not make it out of the driveway with this load. I called my guy to let him know I was coming, and he said, oh, I thought we had that scheduled for Thursday, and today's Tuesday. I looked at a slip, I put it into Tuesday's folder, because I have every day separated by where I'm doing my deliveries. I had his delivery in today, and it's not for two days yet. He said, I'm at work. And he said, I won't be home until about six. And right now it's around three. So I said, oh, no problem. I'll see you then. I said, I got other jobs I can do. So he said, oh, sorry. Otherwise I, I could take it tonight if you come later, but I don't want to have to do that in the dark tonight. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave this load in here. I just hooked up the trailer right here and I backed up over here to where I got a bunch of pallets. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill the trailer up with pallets and we're going to make a run out to the farm. I'm going to put a bunch of pallets up probably put them in a somehow of a corner and then throw all this wood right into the pallets so I get to unload it so <laughs> that was a that was a boneheaded move I've never done that before I think that's the first mistake I've ever made okay we're gonna load some pallets now what's nice about when it snows like this and it's 30 some degrees everything gets wet my gloves are wet my hat's wet Pants are getting wet, my boots are getting wet, everything's getting wet. I 
That worked out nicely. Okay, let's do some more. Looky there, a load of stuff is in the trailer. We're gonna go out to the farm and do a dump. So here we put these runners down on this giant mother of all pallets here. And then we just stacked our pallets back here. I didn't, I didn't record it, um, but we used a skid loader to unload it, so which is really good because the guys are here today doing some work. They just got a whole bunch of totes over there. You can see they got uh, like 20 totes and uh, we're gonna be use those for cookies eventually. So the trailer's unloaded, I'm gonna unload the truck and then I'm done for the day. So I did not unload the truck because right after I recorded what you just saw, I looked at my phone and somebody had sent me a text and they want some wood tomorrow. So I just left it in here. So that wood's gonna be delivered tomorrow. That's the plan anyway. So I just got to set up a time for the guy, but he might want more than just a face cord. So I might end up chucking that into the trailer and putting more in, but at least I didn't have to unload it and pick it up again off the ground. So there it is. So that's it for today, folks. I'm going inside to do some real work now. I gotta go set a computer for about eight hours. Tomorrow, I'll be back 5.30 a.m. You're gonna poke some buttons right now. Otherwise, go to my channel. There's 900 videos waiting for you to watch. Good night, Irene. Thank you.